back with the latest twists in Super Bowl ads as we count down to the big game. Companies are looking for ways to stand out. So we have an exclusive look at the new campaign for Skittles. TJ here with that. You're going to make an ad for one person? One person. Now imagine that marketing meeting. Guy walks in to his boss and says, hear me out. Uh, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make a Super Bowl ad, but we don't want the 100 million people watching the game to see it. We're going to show it to one random kid in California. Now I'm not sure how that idea was greeted at the time, but right now it is brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Skittles is going for the Super Bowl sized attention, but without the Super Bowl sized price of a commercial. This year, Skittles will be making a Super Bowl ad and only showing it to one person. Yep, Skittles is creating a 60 second commercial for the Super Bowl, but the ad won't air during the game itself on February 4th. But it'll be played for an audience of one. This guy. Why would you make an ad and only show it to one single person? A teenager from California named Marcos Menendez. The candy company found the 17-year-old after conducting a search for the ultimate fan. Whoa, what is this? Is this really a scene from the new Skittles Super Bowl ad that only one single person gets to watch? I'm kind of wondering that myself. In what can be a purely genius marketing tactic or just internet trolling, the company is releasing four videos teasing the commercial that we'll never see. GMA has the exclusive and kind of weird first look. Because they're only showing it to one single person. I'll tell you. Shut up! Nobody asked you! Exclusive the rainbow! Taste the rainbow! If you can get the kind of attention that you want from a Super Bowl spot without spending $5 million, I think most people would go that way. And they are not alone. Good day, losers. The internet lit up last week when Chris Hemsworth appeared in a trailer for a brand new Crocodile Dundee film. Brian Dundee? Yep. Really? Yeah. But speculation is building on whether the movie may just be part of a Super Bowl ad. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Why? Why do you keep saying really? Brands have to be more creative and be more agile to be able to get people's attention. A lot of brands are wanting to bring us an element of surprise back to the Super Bowl. So how this is going to work, it's going to go up on Facebook Live. So the kid is going to watch. They say it's a real airworthy commercial that they're making. Mm. He's the only one that's going to watch, and we're all going to watch him react. And then it. we're going to play it the next day. So you're going to do fine. But, no, <laughs> no, but this, no, no, no. They're saying they're they are gonna never going to release it. No one will ever see it except this kid. So we're only going to see the kid's face. That's it. Yes. Him reacting to watching well, a commercial. And I wow. he'll be eating Skittles. He probably will. But look what it got them, right? Two and a half free minutes of advertising on GMA right now. They're like, TJ, I'll go for this. And look, and here we go. For it. <laughs> Thanks, T. You got it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.